Good morning, everyone. Pastor Coy Rowan here with Yorksville First Midvale and Newport Global Methodist Church bringing you a devotional today out of our People of the Bible series with the person of Delilah. Delilah's name means delicate or dainty, lived around the 11th century B.C., was a prostitute who lived in Shore Rock in Samson's day. She tricked Samson into revealing the source of his strength, and you can read about her story in Judges 16. Our devotional thoughts. During World War II, entertainer Josephine Baker helped the French resistance by smuggling secret information written in invisible ink on her sheet music. Baker's fame made it possible for her to engage in espionage completely unsuspected. The most notorious spy of World War I was Meta Hera, a Dutch-born courtesan who was shot for espionage by the French on October 15, 1917. But before Josephine Baker or Meta, there was Delilah, the famous female spy of the Bible. God chose Samson to deliver Israel from the Philistine oppressors. His uncanny strength led him to stunning, stunning success, and uh, that prompted the Philistine rulers to offer Delilah a bribe to help them identify the source of Samson's great strength. Delilah's name means delicate, and she delicately attempted to get Samson to reveal the source of his strength. Samson finally revealed that God gave him the strength and that his long hair was part of his Nazarite vow. This vow set him apart for God's special service, and if his hair were cut, his strength would be gone. And any skillful spy, and like any skillful spy would do, Delilah lured Samson to sleep, shaved his head, and delivered him bald and powerless to the Philistines. And as the author says, I hope Delilah, or I hope you don't have a Delilah in your life, but Satan has spies anywhere. The only way to avoid them is to keep your eyes open and ask God for wisdom and then stay away from those people who most apt or, or most apt to lure you to sleep and steal your virtue. Think of what Solomon says in Proverbs 14 or Proverbs 4, 14 to 16. Do not do as the wicked. Do not follow the path of the evildoers. Don't even think about it. Don't go that way. Turn away and keep moving. For evil people cannot sleep until they've done their evil deed for the day. They cannot rest until they've caused some to someone to stumble. They eat the food of the wicked and drink the wine of violence. This is good advice. And so keep your eyes on God and keep your eyes away from those who would prompt you or lure you into evil. Watch out for the Delilahs in your life. Amen.